Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here. Looks like it's December 6th. Yeah, that's where we are. Darien making a move here uh, into this critical, critical resistance area. I'll put this on the four hourly so you can see it here. So, um, 137.61. This 137.65, um, these are key, key, key resistance uh, resistance areas that we have to take very, very seriously. Um, we just sold at 40 here. Uh, we're going to play around with this, play for an average, um, because U.S. rates... 10 years at 360 so it's not wildly bid i mean the high uh on the non-farm was 364 as we talked about yesterday um it's 363.8 so it's not really i wouldn't say i wouldn't say it, it's, it's clear sailing unless we get above that so 360 is kind of on the high end of this and it's above 355 which we've been using uh, as a barometer um so dollar looks a little extended here like I said, we just let some go at 40. We'll be sort of on the bid at 30 and 20, and then we'll resell at 48 and try and get us an average above 60 uh, in dollar yen here. Euro, yesterday we talked about being long this. Uh, you know, it worked out for us in the sense that we went down to 30, back up. Um, so here we are, we went down to 31 back up to 72 we went down to 20 back up to 95 um this was enough to gather some gather some pnl for us and then of course into um ism we were square we did not hit any bids um we were just sort of kind of shocked right i mean uh 53 came out a lot stronger than we thought it would uh and then we got into the fix here this hour is the fix um, down to 05 up to 36 uh, end of the European day bang back down here um, again uh, this looks a little bit overdone based on where rates are you can understand why this happened a lot of people were long euros um, a lot of people bought euros at the end of the day on Friday when we closed up at 105.30. Um, some of the tighter stops got done in Europe when it went down to 21, but then the, the long-term guys who had their stops below the figure are all getting punched out or all got punched out here. Um, not not really sure what to do with this now. Uh, let's see where Euro Swiss is. We talked about buying this yesterday. This worked out if you bought your Euro Swiss. Um, 94.50 now, wow. Um, anyway, I'm not sure what, what we're going to do with that today. Our focus is going to be on this on this dollar yen. This is the 200-hour mark up at 40. Um, but the real resistance, let's call it between 40 and 60. Uh, and again, we're not asking for change in trend here. We're just saying first time up, there's going to be resistance, and there's probably a little bit of money to be made. Let's look at dollar CAD. Bang. Um, oil's lower, right? Uh, where is oil? Bing, 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 77. Surely this was some news that I don't even know what the fuck happened. Uh, moved from 82 uh, down to 76. Uh, I don't know. Some idiot in OPEC said something or some Russian guy said, I'll sell my oil at 60 bucks. I don't know what happened, but uh, clearly oil uh, took it on the chin. Dollar CAD shoots up, and we're sort of at the top of the range here in Dollar CAD. Um, I guess the interesting high is 136.46. We don't consider this a break trade or anything, but we do recognize this bullish engulfing here from yesterday. Same, same as the Aussie bar as well. We'll get to that. Uh, so Dollar CAD looks looks pretty robust here. Uh, you might want to buy this on a dip um, down at 135.50 if you see it uh, Aussie same thing you want to sell 67.40s today 
um, should be resistance up there bearish engulfing um, in Aussie and all you need is like a little bit of bad news of COVID news in, in China and this thing will just drop like a rock I'm not saying that news is coming um, but the technicals are talking turn um, you can sell this at 67.40 I think um, for further downside uh, so the commodity currencies are getting hit a bit cable uh, looks like turn also we're always happy to sell sterling um, but we're not short because we want to wait for five star setups we want to wait for setups that make sense uh, I don't see any setups here that make any sense I mean you can't just generally be short and you don't want to you don't want to hit 73 bids and leave a 123.50 stop. That's like, uh, you know, it's a Muppet show. Um, nothing to do uh, in uh, Sterling. Here's our dollar yen again, trading down at 29. Um, that's nice. You know, we're giving some at 30. We're going to take some at 20 if we get down there and resell up near 50. Cross yen bullish you see this uh, mean reversion we had signals in Swiss yen we had signals in euro yen um, it was a botch really let's face it uh, we ended up getting paid in euro yen we bailed out of our Swiss yen we have a little bit of long Aussie yen on uh, I'll show you that it's really hard to trade these uh, mean reversion strategies um, Here's Aussie Yen, which, you know, last night it was at 60. Um, now it's at 54, 91, 54. But we bought 59s last night. So these are okay at 92, 17. Um, but, I mean, technically, I guess we're supposed to hold this to 93, 70. So it mean reverts back to the... Um, back to the moving average but we're really just getting used to this right we're and this is not our style for 30 years we've done something else and we still we still pick points and try and get 10 to 1 risk reward and get into trades for free that's that's our main bread and butter but we just decided when we came back uh, to fx from crypto that we were going to uh, introduce this and mainly we're going to introduce this because when I was running a staking fund uh, we wrote programs that are similar to this and it works super well in crypto um, anyway so we're long some Aussie yen that's just it is what it is I don't know what to do with that you have to sit with it actually there's no there's no trading of that CAD yen uh, similar as the Aussie yen chart but nothing to do there EuroCAD, we talk about how big this gets. Um, as oil gets lower, you, you know, this does put some pressure on Euro. Um, if you don't understand that relationship, it has to do with Europeans buying fuel, oil, and that gas in dollars. Um, so they have to sell Euros, turn them into dollars to buy that shit. Um, just think about it for five minutes and you'll probably get it through your head uh, unless you're drunk and then don't even bother uh, but 143.52 so 100 points is a fade here so nothing really to do there dollars are middle of this mess of this drama nothing to do there Euro Aussie uh, also got up to these close fade points we did not get any Euro Aussie out 156.70 um, one of the things we're a little cautious of is you see the vol in your Aussie is very low. The reason you can see it's low is the distance between these two bands are, are is very short uh, relatively to what it normally is. So you got to be careful on these kind of these kind of fades. What else? Kiwi yen, nothing to do here. Um, and let's look at stocks. They don't look all that great, right? I mean this bar yesterday so this is the Friday bar which looks very bullish doji closes at the high but we never make a new high now we've made a new low so doji's indecision this next bar gives you direction 
we made a new low barely now we're sitting down here this looks like it's going left um, so short stocks <laughs> looks like the way uh, our focus is you know we're playing the short side of this dollar yen going into 137.60 um, we already have our average is already 55 here so we're okay um, we're just going to play with this. This is not, we're not looking for a, a percent. We're just going to play figure 50 uh, for the European morning. Uh, we have this Aussie yen on. We're just going to sit with this, no drama. Um, selling dollar cat, uh, selling Aussie up near 40 makes sense. Buying dollar cad down near 50 also makes sense. Um, these are just little day trades. Uh, trend wise, we're just keeping our eye on this um, U.S. 10-year. If this thing gets above 65, then we may try and sink our teeth into um, a long dollar trade. May, maybe against a commodity currency, Aussie seems to be a pretty likely candidate there. But until it gets above 65, this could easily just go right back down five ticks, and all of a sudden we're at 355 again, and dollar yen is going to be on 136.50, and... So just keep your eye on these rates. Uh, there's no releases today. We have Aussie um, GDP tonight, 7.30 p.m. European time, Central European time. So, But there's no real interesting releases. we got CAD and U.S. trade balances, but nobody really gives a shit about trade balances these days, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, anyway, good luck. Uh, plain short dollar yen. Uh, and also looking to possibly sell Aussie or buy Dollar Cat on a dip. Good luck out there. Make some dough. You deserve it.